What's going on? Welcome again to another T-Series Showcase. For today, we have the BAM Ultra Box for May. The theme for this one is Slasher. So, definitely going to be uh, horror movie related, I'm assuming. Now, the fun thing about this is that uh, this is actually the first BAM box I got for the month of May. Which never happens, so... Uh, starting off May very strong with the Ultra Box. Now, I'm not going to let that make uh, the other boxes sound as bad, but we'll see what happens. So, Slasher. Now, oh, that could be a plethora of things. That could be, what, you got Freddy, you got Jason, you got uh, Chucky even, you have Michael Myers. Um, what are Slashers? Let's see. Uh, I mean, if you want to go with TV show, oh, Scream, duh. Um, so, usually I ask at the end of the video what your favorite item was in the box. I'm still going to do that. But for this video, guys, I want to know what your favorite slasher film is. So go ahead and comment below what your favorite slasher film is. Now, what is this tape still holding up? Not anymore. So, go ahead and feel around in here. I usually look for the pins. First, there's one. And uh, we're going to go off this. So, it just, uh, it doesn't say on the back limited pin release, which is different. It says this fan art pin has been created exclusively for the BAM box and is inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There are a limited amount of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. The BAM box. There it is. So, here we go. One, two, three. What is it? I honestly have no idea. It's really creepy. It's kind of cool. Very uh, skeleton zombie vampire thing with tentacles coming out of its head. Neat. Okay, so obviously I don't know what this is right off the top of my head. Uh, slasher. Not really sure. I might have to uh, refer to the cheat sheet for that one. Um, God, this box is just big enough to fit this, uh, stuff in it. Now I'm just seeing if there happened to be another pin. Oh, there it is. It was hiding under something. So another pin is because I usually do two. So here it is. Okay. Another definitely creepy pin. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't have any idea what these two are from off the top of my head. Now, there's probably someone screaming at the camera at me right now. They're from this! And yes, they are from that. I just don't happen to know what that is off the top of my head. For Slasher. Nothing is ringing the bell quite yet. So, moving forward, we have a prop here. And it is a hook. Now, it's just... Yeah! Um... Yeah, it's just a hook. Now, I can assume a bunch of things. This could be from Candyman, because I know he has hook hands, but yeah, it's just like a meat hook. Uh, you know. All right, well, that's neat. Um, it's kind of well made. Minus the... Moves a little bit there. But, I mean, all things considered, unless you're actually trying to do something with us. It's not going to matter. So, uh, um, Hook. I can assume that this is from Candyman if they are doing, like, different slasher films across the board like they did with the, um, Masters of Horror box. So, okay. Paper. Go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so next is the, uh, art print. Now, fortunately, my box is kind of bent, so some of the things kind of or tilted upward. I'm not looking. I'm just going to show you guys the COA there. On the back it says, BAM Authentic Certificate of Authenticity. This fan art inspired art print from our fan art collection, finally I'm able to say it without stuttering, was created exclusively for a single run print for the BAM box. It has been hand signed by the artist who created it and is guaranteed to be authentic. Here we go. One, two, three. What are you? All right, so number 492 out of 600, it's a hatchet. Is this 
by chance the original Friday the 13th, and that's Mrs. Voorhees, maybe? I don't really know. It's kind of hard to tell. Two girls at the bottom. The, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to have to... Like, a lot of this stuff, I'm going to have to refer to the thing. But as you can see, like, mine's just... Uh, so, hopefully, uh, there's no tears or anything in the art print. Here are the... Okay, I'm not looking, but there's no COA here. Okay. I might... Maybe it's mixed in the front? We'll find out. But this is supposed to be the autograph, so... Slasher, autograph, here we go. One, two, three. Scream! Okay. Uh... Beckett Witness, and there's a scan code there. That's different. Uh, oh god, it's, it's the girl who plays Sydney in the movie? Potentially? Uh, I don't remember her name off the top of my head, though, but I, I think that's for the girl who played Sydney in the movie, which would be really cool figuring that... Oh, where did I put it all? Recently, I got the Billy autograph on the screen mask. I have... A Matthew Lillard that I got from Bambox as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. So, Slasher! There it is. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with the pins right here. So it says, Every kid believed that the faculty somehow was a story of their own high school. Briar Marrow brings the movie to life with a pin set commemorating the 1988 classic film. The faculty... I've never heard of it, um, so that's different. Never heard of it before. Next is this hook. Um, it is not from, uh, what did I say, Candyman. It says, I know what you did last summer. Terrified audiences with a killer gutting people with his hook. Included in the, is a replica hook to remember the victims of Southport, North Carolina. Okay. I honestly thought it was Candyman, but, you know. Next up is this one right here. The uh, additional items. Oh, sorry, that's just these guys. The art print. It happened to someone who knows someone you know. You're next. Wesley Gardner brings us this creepy art print from the 1988 hit Urban Legend. Another one that I've never seen. So I, I've seen I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's been a long time, but I've seen that. Um... So the pins and the other thing, I just have no idea about. Alright. The autograph. Neve Campbell. Okay. Neve Campbell, I hope I, I pronounced her name right. Was a quintessential teenager of the 1980... Or, excuse me. The 90s first starring in the sitcom of Party of Five. But it was her portrayal of the main character, Sydney, in the Scream series that made her a household name. And cemented her status as a horror icon. We are proud to bring her to you in this month's Ultra Box. So, there we go. A Sydney autograph from Scream. That's actually kind of cool. Um, I really do like the uh, cover here. The only thing I don't know, and I'm going to have to open this up, is, is there a card to go with this? Because I only have the sticker. So is there a card? No. So I do not know, and guys, you can comment below, if Beckett has done away with the card to go with the item, which is essentially, like, I have one off to the side here. You guys know what it is, but, like, one of these. I don't know if they've done away with that or not, because I can see now... This new... Don't fall. Ah! <laughs> it says, don't fall, don't follow me. This new, um... Uh, QR. Q's QR card? Whatever. So, I don't know if that's different or not. I'm gonna actually, um... Reach out to BAM and see if that has changed. But this is cool. Um, I might keep this. I might, because I already have Billy and, um... Stu. I already have their autographs, so Sydney would make, you know, essentially the main three, which is the two killers and the heroine, so that would be cool. Heroine. 
Um, anyways, so, uh, my rating system, how fun this is. Alright, so, at number one, two, three, four, five. At number five, I'm going to give it to the meat hook. Only because the fact that I honestly thought it was from Candyman originally. And it's neat. It's just, it's pretty small, all things considered, for what it would be for. It's just there, honestly, for me. At number four, I'm going to go ahead and give it to this art print. Um, for starters, I don't even remember the name of the damn movie. Uh, Urban Legend. Never heard of it before. Never seen it before. And um, the art's nice, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not for me. Go ahead and put that down there. At number three, it's gonna be... Just gonna go ahead and give it to... These are pretty much three and two, these pins. Again, The Faculty is a movie I've never heard of before. Um, these are cool looking. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. But at the same time, I kind of want to watch the movie. And based on if I like the movie or not, I might keep them. I might not, not keep them. I don't know. But of course, at number one is the Neve... Um, Campbell autograph. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, it's 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 just one of the main characters from a slasher movie that everyone knows, Sidney Campbell. And go figure that I was listing off all these movies, and I'm like, uh, oh yeah, and, and Scream, right? And there we go. Um, so yeah, I like this. I might hold on to this. But guys, that is it for this video. Again, comment down below what your favorite slasher film is. But also comment down below what your favorite item in this box was. So if you do that and subscribe to the channel and get you entered into the 250 subscriber giveaway, make sure to also ring that notification bell, hit the like button on this video, that helps out a lot. Also to help us get to that 250 subscriber giveaway faster, make sure to share this video. It does help. Um, in the description below, you'll see various links to The Band Box, Zobi, and a few other uh, mystery box sites, as well as the TU Series Collectibles, e excuse me, Showcase eBay page, where things such as this art print will more than likely be on sale, as well as this meat hook. And then also, also, be sure to check out the TC's Collectibles eBay page, where you can get brand new merch such as, I haven't even put this up yet, this Amatras from Okami Nendroid. This thing is really cool. I personally have one as well. I have the deluxe one but this is what it looks like outside it is so damn cute i love okami it is one of my favorite games it even does the little yeah i won't say it but it does that too um but guys that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and uh this is fantastic i'm probably holding on to it honestly but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy the other bandbox videos for this month and i'll see you in the next one take care